Hi, I'm John Allen, President and CEO of Product Safety Consulting. We help manufacturers obtain product certifications around the world and have been doing so for over 35 years now. We have a series of videos showing a lot of the basic testing that we do in the lab. And today we're going to show you how to do the dielectric withstand test. The test is a, a test of the insulation system of the product. We want to make sure no wires are nicked that are touching uh, accessible metal parts. We want to make sure spacing between live parts is adequate and that is why we do this test. Most standards um, require the test be done at two times rated input voltage plus a thousand volts. Today's purposes we are going to call our input voltage 120 volts so our test voltage is going to be 1240 volts. We need to be careful that's why we have glasses and we also want to make sure that the test surface is free of debris. So before we start we're going to make sure that our machine is actually working and we're going to short it out on purpose to see if we get a failure. And we do have a failure, so we're good to go. We at Product Safety use the Vitrek V74. There's a variety of models out there. This is a workhorse for us. Uh, we love it. So the insulation system te dielectric test, uh, as indicated, we're going to tie line and neutral together. We're going to put the hot lead of the machine on that node. And then we're going to take the return lead and put it on ground. And I am not going to hold this. Remember, it's 1,200 volts. The test is actually 60 seconds. And off it goes. We do have the benefit in filming to cut that time down so we don't have to see all 60 seconds. Okay, we have a pass. That's fantastic. So our street light passed. Manufacturer is very happy about that. We have no risk of shock from an insulation standpoint. So this product is hardwired and has a ground wire. What I want to show you with the table lamp is we have an ungrounded plug. So we still have to tie line and neutral together. We're going to do it with these banana clips. We're going to take our, our hot lead of the machine and put it on one. They're tied together, so it's actually both. And then we're going to take our return lead, and I'm going to put that down. Again, it's 1,200 volts. We're going to put our return lead on accessible dead metal. And we make sure we're clean and good to go. And we will start the test. And there we go again. Again, I would like to take this opportunity while the test is running to thank you for visiting our YouTube channel and hopefully you can look at all the other videos and learn a lot of the basic testing we do in product safety. There we go. And we have another pass. We have two very happy manufacturers that passed the dielectric test and reduced the risk of shock to their users us and we will disconnect everything turn power off to make sure everything is safe thank you very much for uh, seeing our video and look to our youtube channel for more uh, series of videos uh, to help teach you how to do the basic testing and product safety